Dustin's plan has always been like uh, try to keep the strength and the technique going hand in hand. Right. So right. some sometimes I go a little bit too far in my wind up, or I'm doing I'm dipping a little bit with my, my left arm. Now let's talk about. Um, you know, everybody's going to always wants to know, especially people in the United States, which I think is um, everybody here gets obsessed with strength, right? And so, you know, what kind of numbers, um, how is your strength levels increasing each year? And, you know, so from, you know, 2015, you go 60 meters, and in 2016, you go 63 meters. How much does your strength training you know, how much did your strength go up in that year? And do you find that there's that specific correlation as you're getting stronger? Is your throwing getting up or is your strength kind of hit a point where it's going up slower, but your technique is really continuing to like hone? I mean, Vestin's plan has always been like, uh, try to keep the strength and the technique going hand in hand. Right. Uh, so I just don't, yeah, I don't get very strong quickly then just keep, try to keep it step by step. Gotcha. So I've been trying to maybe gain three, four kilos in body weight every year uh, and just try to, yeah, keep it on a similar level. Right. Um, I mean, some, I mean, some years I have PB in the bench and then I've been, yeah, stuck on that weight for two years maybe. And then maybe I've increased the deadlift or the squat instead. Okay. And then I went up a little bit in the bench two year after or something like that. But yeah, it depends on a little bit on what lift it is. Right. Now, uh, what are your, your PBs on each of your lifts? Everybody loves to know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've done 180 in the bench, uh, 290 in the uh, deadlift. Okay. Uh, to... <laughs> 235 in the snatch, 145, sorry, yeah, in the like, snatch. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, 180 in uh, work. Uh, I don't really clean that much. Okay. Uh, so 180 snatch clean? instead. No, uh, <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't cleaned okay. more than 150 maybe. Okay. Um, so is there a particular reason or more. is it like, is it a, like a, you know, wrist flexibility, like, is it? No, it's just, just bad feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so, I, so I just do the snatch instead of the cleans. I think okay. we can get a little bit, yeah, pretty much the same uh, results from it. So we do, I just snatch instead of clean. Okay. And you said your squat is about 180? Uh, no, I haven't done like a, I've done three on 200 in front squats. Okay. And on 200 back squats. So I, I haven't like maxed out. Okay. Uh, I've had some problems with my knee and my groin. So I haven't done up that much in, in the weight there. Gotcha. And so what kind of things, so, you know, have, as for the most part, it seems like, you know, you guys are always pretty healthy and is that pretty accurate or do you get some little, you know, naggy training things here and there? I think it, Depends a little bit. I have had nothing big, but a couple of small ones that have been a little bit distracting, but we've been able to train around it. Gotcha. So, it's, for example, I've had some problems with my knee. Uh, so instead of doing like deep squats, we have been doing, yeah, squat to a box instead. Okay. Just haven't gone that deep. Gotcha. Um, and then, yeah, some problems with the groin, but yeah, nothing, nothing big. Gotcha. And, um, and then, you know, what's, what's the, like for strength training, um, <clears throat> you guys, and I do see that you guys do a lot of, it looks like you do a fair amount of deadlifts, like sumo and regular, it, it seems like, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Daniel, I think does the most of them. He's doing them all through the season and because he, yeah, he feels good doing it. Um, and, and I just, I, I did it the program I was on last week and like, yeah, from Christmas to now, right. but from this new program, I'm going to do 
just squats and yeah, yeah, the other stuff <laughs> instead of the deadlift. So, you know, that brings up an interesting question. Um, obviously you have a, you're, a, it, I think if you're Swedish and you throw a discus, you're automatically a tall person, <laughs> but I <laughs> see I'm half Swedish. Actually, my dad is yeah. very proud to be Swedish and I'm half Mexican. Okay. So I, I'm only six of four. <laughs> so, okay. Well, that's still good. Yeah. So, um, but you, you have a different body type. Clearly Daniel is just a big fast guy and you're what I, you know, kind of more, almost more prototypical discus thrower, long, you know, good frame. Um, you're not like super big, but you're fast and you're, you're big now. I mean, I think you're big now, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> how does, how does, you know, how do you guys approach is your training program versus somebody like Daniel? Is it pretty similar or, you know, just kind of just in you talking briefly, it sounds like there's clearly some personalized adjustments based on how you you know, what, what's best for you versus how Daniel goes, or are they pretty similar? Yeah. I mean, I think that's the part that makes best thing very good in like getting these peaks, uh, on the right time. Um, so it's very individualized in one way. Um, Daniel does, for example, Daniel does quite less now compared to a couple of years ago. So, I mean, if you look at the strength training, I'm, I think I'm lifting a little bit more than him uh, because I need to be a little bit bigger. Right. But he, he, he already got that part done. Right. <laughs> so he's more, more focused on the throwing than lifting right now. Gotcha. Uh, he, he still do, does a couple of big lifts now just for fun. But, I mean, the real focus in, is on throwing for him. And me, it's maybe a little bit 50-50. Gotcha. Try to be a little stronger and bigger and just improve on the technique too. Gotcha. Now that being said, what's it like, you know, training with coach V he's, uh, uh you know, I've, I've met him I, funny enough. He probably doesn't remember but at the very end of his career. And I had mentioned to him before I was like, you know, I threw against you a couple of times and yeah. And, okay. yeah and uh, so back in the day, there was a big meet called like the uh, remember there's Salinas meets. You've heard of those. Uh, I, I'd seen him there. I threw against him there. And uh, I threw against him. There was a big meet in the '90s that was like the the Bruce Jenner meet in San Jose. Okay. And, and I remember throwing 61 meters, and I didn't make the final. I was really disappointed. Right. You, most of the time, you throw 61 meters, you're going to make the final. And I remember yeah, I just true. missing the final. I think I was like, like I was like the 10th guy or something. I just missed the final. But I remember it was a good meet then. Yeah, yeah, it was. And. Uh, I think he threw, you know, I think he was like 64, 65 meters. And, uh, you know, he, I, I just always remember him when he was competing and, uh, he was always like, you know, speaking Icelandic, you know, saying stuff and all fired up. Um, <laughs> so, but what's it, you know, he, he seems, obviously he's, he's a phenomenal coach and he's had, you know, you know, two Olympic gold medalists, Olympic silver medalist, you know, obviously you guys grabbing gold and silver in the same year, I, you know, what would you, what are some of the things that, like you just mentioned, his, his ability to individualize, you know, how does that spill over into the technique too? Cause I know you guys have very similar technique and I've been fortunate enough to be able to speak to him and kind of, you know, quick things like great little insights. How do you guys approach technique? What do you, you know, like most and obviously you've been tremendously successful under him. So, you know, what, what do you think is that recipe that works so well? Yeah, it is, as, as you say, we, I think we throw kind of the same in one way. Uh, but the, uh, I think his eye to see this, like the whole picture, mm -hmm. <laughs> like he, if you just stand and looking at a throw, he can see, if some, something is off a little bit, or if right. me, my, I'm a very depending, depending on my start, for example. Right. So some, sometimes I go a little bit too far in my wind up, or I'm doing, I'm dipping a little bit with my, my left arm when in, in my wind or something like that, yeah, yeah. or losing my contact with my left foot or something like that, and then just miss something later on in my throw. So he's very good on like, instead of, approaching the problem the problem he's approaching the 
what's causing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe I shift my weight in the finish. Maybe that's because of missing my start or something like that. So he just, yeah, yeah he's good on seeing seeing the whole picture.